I've been a professional artist for my entire life and I've been making a decent living from it for the past five years or so. I have the best job in the world and I love it so much. I am so grateful every day that I get to think about beauty and color and let's just face it, use a lot of paint for my job. A lot of people might think I have a very romantic life, and I do. But as it turns out, being a professional artist is also a job, and there are parts of it that aren't quite as amazing as you'd imagine. Today, I have six surprising truths to tell you about what it's like being a professional full-time artist. <music> Welcome to The Josie Show, where it's artist to artist chat about making art and selling art. I'm here with my thoughts because I want to help you make your important, meaningful work, and I also think artists should get paid. I've been a full-time artist for years, and recently my husband quit his fancy corporate engineering job to come and work with me. So I am proof that making a decent living as an artist is possible. So what are the surprising truths about being a professional artist? Artist. The first truth is very important and a lot of makers resent it. It takes a lot of discipline to develop a unique voice. To be a pro, you'll need to say no to far more ideas and possibilities than you'll say yes to. Early on, excitable exploration is beneficial and a powerful way to learn and grow as an artist. But in the maturing process, some hard decisions need to get made. Some attractive creative ideas will have to be back burnered. Some cute meandering paths in the woods will have to go unexplored. You will have to show up for your creative practice like a mule in a mine hauling out the dirt. It's work. The second truth about being a professional artist is that it changes your thoughts about your fans, your audience, and your collectors. When you are making the transition from hobbyist to pro, you have to think about your audience or your potential audience. Not only are you making art that hopefully will create a dynamic impression on your target collectors, you also need to think about how you're communicating your art and your story to people that might be interested. You need to start thinking seriously about your photography, your use of social media, or getting a website representation in an exhibition or a gallery. You need to think about your artist statement and your other writing and your artist brand. You can no longer just think about your art and pleasing your own curiosity. The third truth about being a pro is that your art might get boxed in. When you start selling art, it's lovely. It's amazing. You have found something that people love and want to pay you for. So you start making more of that because you're no idiot. But after a while, maybe you get a bit bored. You might want to try other expressions and other concepts. I have a friend that sells tons of small, modestly priced, amazing drawings, but she wants to make big oil paintings that will necessarily be quite expensive. And the big oil paintings just don't sell as well in the market that she's developed. So in order to keep her business alive, she has to continue making the small drawings. After finding success in a particular category, creating a pivot to a different style is difficult and sometimes even impossible. The fourth truth about being a professional artist is all about time. Years ago, I was talking to a very successful photographer who had prestigious galleries representing her and was in major exhibitions at places like Museum of Modern Art in New York. She wasn't active on social media. She had found her success the old fashioned way. And she told me that 50% of her work time was not related to making her art. It was corresponding with printers and framers and gallerists and collectors and writing grants and proposals and dealing with the tech. I thought that was shocking at the time. How could this be? She was living the dream, selling a photograph for five figures, and yet she didn't have time to make art. Now that I am making full-time art, and making a good living, I think art making for half my time sounds 
pretty good. Maybe it's the addition of social media and running a website shop and shipping art, but sometimes it feels like art making is more like a quarter of my time. And there's a lot of stuff I have to do to keep the business running. The fifth truth about being a full-time artist is your needs of physical space. This actually might not change that much from being a hobbyist. No matter what, art takes up space. If you are selling art in quantities large enough to live on, you will likely be making a lot of art. The finished art takes up space. The packaging takes up space. The art materials take up space. The art making process takes up a lot of space. As your studio practice levels up, so will your need for square footage. Finally, the sixth cold, brutal truth of being a professional artist is that you have to think like a small business. Not only do you have to consider your audience and how you're communicating, but you also have to think about things like income taxes, sales taxes, write-offs, record-keeping, margins, profit and loss, expenses, labor, liabilities, business banking, accounting, and a million other complications that come from running a small business. And you have to be as creative with your business as you are with your art, even though it's a different kind of skill. Have I scared you off yet? I still think I have the best job in the world. And I actually love the tremendous complexity of the components that go into it. What do you think? Were any of these truths surprising to you? Can you think of any more truths about being a full-time artist? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you there.